Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be creating a very simple text adventure game in Python. So this is a very simple Python project that builds on simple Python concepts such as input and output in Python, as well as if elif else statements in Python and Boolean expressions. Uh, so yeah, if you're just starting out in Python programming, this is a great project for you. So this game is basically asking a user a series of questions and the user has to give a few answers and depending on the answers, the user either wins or loses. So yeah, it's basically an adventure and depending on which path the user takes, they either win or lose. So let me show you how my game works. So first it's asking, do you want to play this game? I'll say yes. Okay, so that's great. Do you want to explore a cave or jungle? I'll explore a cave. Okay, so I see a sleeping bear and let's say I'll fight the bear. Alright, so obviously it's not a great idea because bears are really strong. So I lost the game. Okay, so let's run the code again. So this time I'll say yes. Cave. And this time I'll run away from the bear. And yeah, I won the game. So let's say I say no. Okay, so it just says, but this is a really awesome game. But yeah, the game basically uh, finishes. Okay, so let's try one more thing. Yes, and let's try going to the jungle. And okay, so a tiger attacks me and I lose. So basically, your this text adventure game, you can make it very long. So I made it very short for this tutorial so that I don't make the video too long. Uh, but yeah, you can be very creative. You can come up with your own storyline and create a very interesting text adventure game. So I'll show you exactly how to. I'll show you the process of making this game. All right, so let's start. So first, I'll ask the user if they want to play the game or not. So for this, I'll use the input function. So input, do you want to? play this text adventure game and then also i'll have to put in the option so either yes or no and answer will be a string that will contain the user's input so if answer is equal to yes uh, otherwise for else i'll just say But this is a really awesome game. Alright, so if the user does want to play the game, it'll just stop here. Uh, but if the user does want to play the game, we'll just say, okay, so that's great. Alright, and then I'll just add in an empty line here to make the output look a little nicer I want to make sure that the text is not uh, clumped together and to make sure the output looks nice so next question I want to ask is uh, do you want to go and explore a cave or jungle so for this again I'll use the input function so I'll just put the text in the prompt uh, do you want to explore a cave or jungle and then i'll just give the okay i should put a question mark here so either cave or jungle okay so the user has to write either cave or jungle and if the user writes something else like city uh, then the user will lose okay so if answer is equal to cave Okay, we'll think about that a little later so pass is basically just pass the block right because having nothing inside your if statement is not valid syntax okay so next is elif answer is equal to jungle i'll just put in pass else uh i'll just say invalid option because the user didn't Type in something correctly, you lose. All right. So, and the game ends here. 
So, however, if the user puts in cave, uh, so let's think of a storyline. So, print you go into the cave and see a sleeping bear. Okay, so and then I'll print out an empty line and then now we'll ask the user if they want to fight or run. Okay, so you can see that I'm nesting if, elif, else statements into each other. And if you're writing a very long text adventure game with maybe 10 or even 20 questions, you're going to have a lot of if, elif, else statements. Uh, so yeah, again, I I'll only be doing three questions maximum. So do you want to fight or run? All right, and then again, don't forget to put in the options. So fight slash run. Okay, so we'll have to write in another if elif else block. Okay, so if the user wants to fight, we'll say that bears are really strong. You lose. Right, because the user didn't make a good choice. Elif answer is equal to run. So this time, let's just say the user won. You can actually make in another question, but uh, I don't want to make the tutorial too long. So you ran away. You win. Okay, else, uh, so if the user didn't put fight or run, that means the user made an invalid option. So I'll just copy paste this here. And you can see that we have covered all the options for this question. And uh, we also have to put in what we'll put for jungle. So again, you can make another storyline for this part, but uh, I'll just send it here. So print you meet a tiger and you get eaten. And I'll just say you lose. Okay, or you lost, but yeah, I'll just put that. Okay, so this is pretty much my text adventure game. It's again very simple. You can Make it very complex with lots of questions but uh, so let's just run this all right so do you want to play this text adventure game let's say no okay so this works fine so now let's say yes okay so that's great where do i want to go let's say i want to go to a cave okay so you see that i haven't put a space here but that's fine so do I want to fight or run? Let's say I fight, so I lose, okay? Because bears are very strong. So I didn't put a space here. Let me just put a space uh, right over here, right? Okay, so let's run the program again. Yes, give. So this time, uh, last time I fought, but this time let's say I'll run. Okay, so I won. Now let's go to the jungle. And oh dear, so I meet a tiger and then I get eaten and I lose. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this text adventure game. So this is my code. Again, I encourage you to, you know, test different storylines, change it a bit, add a few more questions, make it a little more interesting than this, uh, since this is a really short. A program and yeah if you like this video then please do consider giving a like and subscribe to this channel in this channel i make some very simple uh, python content so if you're learning python then i think that this channel will be a very great learning resource for you so again don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video